G'day everybody, Cam here from the fish room again and welcome to our first episode of Nanobytes. So what is Nanobytes you ask? Well Nanobytes is our new series we're going to release once a week. Basically we're going to pick a topic and we're going to talk about it for about two or three minutes and that is literally it. Nice and simple, quick and easy, I'm going to sit here in front of my fish tank and basically talk about fish stuff with you guys. Super sweet. So if you've got any ideas for topics that we can use, please feel free to put the comments down below and we'll run through them. We've already got a list of about 50 topics, um, but if there's something you want us to talk about, we can do that as well. So without any further ado, let's get into episode one and topic one. All right, so episode one, what should we look for when buying fish? So it goes without saying, the first thing you want to look for is make sure the fish themselves are actually swimming around. Um, unless you're occlusive fish, you don't want them kind of hanging out at the bottom, gasping for air at the bottom, or even gasping for air at the top. You want them to be, as you can see in the background, if they're middle swimmers, you want them sort of swimming in the middle and being quite active. Uh, if you are in a fish shop or a pet shop or whatever, you can ask the employees when they've got their fish in. You can also ask them what they're feeding them and if you can see them feed, because you really want the fish to be eating as well. If the fish aren't eating, that's not really a good sign. Uh, sometimes fish come in from wholesalers with parasites or internal issues So if you look at the head of the fish if the body is thinner than the head generally speaking that fish is uh, Needs some treatment done to it Some aquarium shops treat their fish other shops don't uh, but if you do get um, Fish and you see the fish and they've kind of got a bigger head around this sort of area through the body um, I would avoid personally buying them uh, You can treat them yourself and everything like that, but I would just personally avoid buying them if you can avoid it. So you really want to see them eating. You want to see that the body shape and the head is all kind of lined up. You don't want to see any of the fins clamped down. You want them nice and open. You want to see them being nice and active and swimming around as opposed to sitting in a corner gasping for air or sitting above gasping for air. You really don't want to see the, the, the gills and really, really working hard. You just want them nice, nice and easy going. Uh, you want to see them eating if you can possibly see them eating. Uh, interacting with other fish is another good thing and also interacting with you once you walk up to the tank. Some fish obviously don't do that, but other fish are very interactive. Uh, take mollies and platies and stuff like that. If you come up to the tank and you sort of look at them like that, chances are they're going to come towards you. They might even start um, sort of wagging in front of the tank and stuff like that. So those are all good signs of things that you should be looking for. Uh, if they're not showing these kind of signs, you probably want to avoid them if possible. Um, another thing to not look for or, or sort of pay attention to when you're in the shop is whether the shop has got a bank of systems all in like a group of nine is quite often what they come in or if they're individually filtered. If the tanks are all in a, a bank in a rack, check the other uh, tanks that are in the rack. If there's some issues or diseases going on with those fish in, the rat, in that system, it's going to be passed through or chances are very high it's going to be passed through the fish that you're looking at buying. So if they're on a, a bank system and you've got an issue with one fish say in the top right hand corner and the same in the bottom left hand corner then I would avoid buying from that system and I have personally avoided buying from that system as well so if they're on the same water system you kind of want to avoid that. Alright that's it episode one done and dusted. Yeah.